Do you want to get into data science in 2024? If the answer is yes, please continue watching, otherwise um, don't. Getting into data science in 2024 requires a combination of formal education, skills, hands-on experience and networking. Of course, market trends affect these components, like in any other industry. Timing matters. Industry cycles can make entering data science easier or much harder. In addition, the sector is significantly disrupted by technology, most notably the emergence of machine learning and AI tools. We need to acknowledge that formal education, skills and experience go hand in hand. They are not independent. These three elements contribute to your human capital. To some extent, your experience might also add to your networking, which is about engaging with the outside world. Put differently, enhancing your human capital is the precondition. But you must ensure that you also develop your social capital, knowing people, connecting with others. Let's look at the first component in a bit more detail. Formal education. So here we talk about university level degrees. Many YouTube videos suggest that you do not need or benefit from degrees anymore, but this is empirically wrong. However, it depends on the subject. Now this chart shows UK based data focused on entry level salaries after an undergrad degree. And you observe a, a great degree of variance across various subjects. So the subject clearly matters. Now for data science, quantitative subjects rule. Apart from the obvious ones such as mathematics, statistics and computer science, um, economics is a solid choice. But there are many others that contain a significant proportion of quantitative research methods and it would be fine to do that. An undergrad degree is required in my view. I usually recommend a broad subject at undergrad level. It is simply too early to specialize. Now, should you consider higher degrees? While not always necessary, obtaining a master's degree in a relevant subject such as computer science, statistics or data science can provide you with deeper knowledge. Note that degrees are about signaling. It is a lot less about the things you learn as you will anyway forget most of it. It is a signal about your ability to learn. Signaling has value if a signal is costly, that is, the time and effort needed to complete your studies. In the job market, information asymmetry exists as employers do not know what applicants actually know. So signals add value. In general, MSc level education tends to pay off financially. However, I usually suggest to work for a few years before doing another master level degree. PhDs are a very different beast. In most cases, they do not add financial value. I did a video on PhDs in finance, if you want to have a look. Skills are different from formal degrees. Honestly, skills need to adjust much more quickly to technology. For instance, I studied mathematics at undergrad and postgrad level. I did not cover any Python or applied statistics. But degrees are not about skills as much. It is about learning to learn. In terms of skills, I always suggest to focus on the basics and get a deeper understanding. 
Familiarize yourself with the core concepts, including applied statistics, data manipulation, and data visualization. Handling data is absolutely essential. Do not jump right into machine learning at this stage. It doesn't add that much. Learn about data wrangling and handling, including outliers, missing values, and so on. My Udemy course, Getting Started with Starter, covers all the basic skills. The link is down below in the description. This course covers all the essentials and most importantly, it is very applied. So here we cover data wrangling, workflows, descriptive analysis, regression analysis, post-estimation analysis, panel data, binary choice modeling, model specification. So this is actually all you need to have a solid understanding of applied data science. Honestly, you do not need to understand probability theory or the theory underpinning hypothesis testing. It's a nice to have, but it's not essential. You need a hands-on guide to be able to conduct descriptive and multivariate analyses including regression models. This course focuses on how to do it and how to interpret your results. Programming languages, yes, they are important, but do the basics first. Learning Python and core can distract you from the basics. My Udemy course actually uses Starter, which is much easier to use compared to Python because I don't want any distraction. So after covering the basics, we move to programming. Python is obviously number one. It is widely used in data science with a very strong and active community. There are extensive libraries for data analysis and machine learning including NumPy, Pandas, and Scikit-Learn, just to name a few. So Python would be my number one focus. I have a playlist on how to get started with Python for data science if you want to get into it. But of course, Python is not the only language to know. SQL and R are important. However, as a beginner, I would invest in SQL and databases. R is useful, but not really essential, except in very few areas. After covering the basics, it is usually a good idea to start with your first project. It is all about getting some experience. Honestly, I like to learn while playing games. You can use my first Python project to get into object-oriented programming. It is fun and you learn quite a lot without realizing it. Watching tutorials, sadly, is not sufficient. Well, it's nice and please follow me and like the video and share, but it's not enough. You must experience problems yourself and learn how to tackle them. So this is why projects are absolutely essential. You can find data sets on many platforms and there are lots of um, APIs to get data for free. I have covered a few data sources on my channel, including Yahoo Finance, Reddit, and so on. So just have a look at the videos. It will give you some ideas how to get access to data for free. Next, create a portfolio. GitHub and LinkedIn are useful platforms to showcase your projects and experience. Include detailed descriptions of problems you solved and the methods you used, and of course the insights you gained. Anyway, always document your work. This is an important skill. Only I and God know how my code works. And in two weeks, only God knows. Hence, documentation is absolutely essential. Others need to be able to work on your code without spending a huge amount of time trying to understand your structure. 
So it's all about following structure, following certain styles and making it easy for others to understand. Networking is not easy for some people, including myself. It does not come naturally. However, my research shows the importance of social capital. I've done lots of papers on networks. So join data science communities, forums and social media groups to connect with others in the field. Networking can help you learn from others, discover job opportunities and build relationships that may be beneficial for your career. Start applying for entry-level data science positions, internships or freelance projects. Applications are a numbers game as well. It's just another statistical problem. Do not take rejections personally. Keep going. Remember that getting into data science requires a lot of dedication, lifelong learning and persistence. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Let's spread the joy of data analysis. May the force be with you.